Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to enable and use the desktop stickers in Windows 11. Now, for this to work, your computer does need to be updated to Windows 11 built 22621 and to pretty much enable this feature for it. So, to find out on this, it's pretty simple. You can just go to this PC and right click on it and select properties. And then, pretty much on here, you'll see version is right there and iOS iOS OS built is 22621 that's one that we need to have for Windows for this to work OS built 22621 so right now my computer is good if it is not there you would pretty much need to go to search and go to updates and you get the point of the rest you have to do Windows updates until you get to that point but mine is pretty much good so let's go ahead and get started So first thing you do is pretty simple. You would just go to search or the start menu doesn't really matter. We're going to get to the same place. Um, we're going to go ahead and search for reg edit. That's pretty much the registry editor and go ahead and select it. You would most likely be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And then we are pretty much here. Now once you get to there, we're going to need to go to a folder that is underneath local machine. So it's pretty much a key H key underscore local underscore machine. Go ahead and expand that. And then we're going to go ahead to software. And then to Microsoft, and we're scroll down until you see Policy Manager. And uh, where is it? At? Policy Manager is right there. And we're going to select Current, then Device, and expand it. And then from here, you're going to need to right-click on pretty much the key. Pretty much it's a folder or a key. You're going to go ahead and right-click and select a new key. And this key is going to be called Stickers. Now I'm not fully sure if it really matters if it's uppercase or lowercase but the way I have read it is that it has to be an uppercase stickers what it shows so I'm gonna go ahead and put it the same and then from there that's where once you're created be sure you're selected the stickers right click on the right side of it and select a new D word this D word will be enable stickers and if I'm making sure everything is correctly yes it is and um, once you have created that file the D word, go ahead and double click it and change this value to one and press OK. And then you can pretty much X this out. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can automatically do the additional features. If not, we might need to restart the computer. So after we did enable this, I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to select personalize. And I'm going to go to background. And it shows right here that we can choose stickers for your wallpaper. So pretty much I did not have to do too much to just to enable this. So let's go ahead and get to it. One of the main things that does happen for this, if it does not show the stickers, be sure that you have the personalize on your background as a picture. Because if it's set up into different like a slideshow or a spotlight, it may not actually work. I think if I'm correct, I think it has to be in any pictures for that to be done. So once we're there, we can go ahead and select the choose stickers and wallpapers. So we're gonna add stickers. And it pretty much it creates the background of what we currently have right now, what, what we're set for. And they have all of these different little icons. You could probably search for what you're looking for. Uh, let's see if I can put like something funny. I really don't care how much. I'm going to laugh if I can bring up something computer. Oh my gosh, I can bring, actually can bring up something with the computer. So I'm going to put a sleeping cat next to the computer. And here it is. And you can pretty much set it up how you want to. I wish we could do a little bit more by customizing the stuff around by curving it but that is fine so it can be a little sleeping little one right here let's see if we can find something else it's gonna type in a dog just why not we see one okay well not the same thing that was a hot dog let me delete that one let's see what else we can find here let's just scroll down I see all different things here I'm gonna put the chicken here Oh, which one? A couple came out. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm pretty much going to set this underneath the bottom. And then we're pretty much good. And you see how I pretty much set this up here? After that is there, I think if I can just X this, it is now set. And now we should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this lowercase. And there we have it. We have the pretty much the icons are set there with the background. And it's pretty much set. And that's freaking pretty cool. Now, if you do not want this, you can pretty much can change this. Can go back the same way by going to personalize and then just change your background 
and just choose the default one that we originally had or you can switch it over and you should be good so here we are and we're back to normal on this also if we were in the personalization here and we're underneath the background and you see that the stickers and wallpapers is there and you don't want this to be on there and you want to disable those, you will just pretty much do the exact same steps by going to registry editor. So to do this, we'll go ahead and go to start and we can go to search and we can type in reg edit. That pretty much brings up the registry editor and go ahead and open it. You'll probably be prompted again. Press yes. And if you're not at the same location, be sure you come to the same spot. So you're going to underneath the local machine software, Microsoft. And then from there, we're pretty much going to choose the policy manager, current device, and stickers. And to remove this, you can simply just press the value to zero, and you should be good. I'm actually going to see if I can right click on this and select personalize. And I'm going to choose backgrounds. And I do not see it here anymore, so that is good. And if it does come to a point, if it doesn't want to check this, you honestly can change that value and just restart the computer. Or you can honestly can just delete the whole folder from stickers. And you should be good. I've also been told that if you enable that stickers and stuff that's on there, you should be able to see a pretty much a selection here that says add or edit stickers. So let's go ahead and see if that was available real quick. I'm going to go to reg edit again just to make sure. I'm going to create that same thing again. We were underneath policy, then current, then device. I'm going to create that new one again, that new D word. What was that D word called? Um, it was called stickers. And the new D word was enable stickers and change the value to one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize this right now. I'm gonna go to personalize and we're gonna go to background. It says add stickers. I'm gonna choose any stickers. Oh, there they are, they came up. I can X this out. So now the stickers are there. If I am correctly, if I right click, okay, it's not showing this, so I might need to restart the computer, but they were saying that it does show a feature that says add or edit stickers, but it doesn't seem it's coming here. Regardless, the system is working and you can customize your system and you should be pretty good. So pretty much you just want to turn it off, change the value to zero, come back to this again. I'm going to go to personalize and then I'm going to go to background and it pretty much just doesn't let me change it anymore. It's back to normal. So we are good. And that is pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching this video and I will see you on the next. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.